is Colleen and I'm a speech language pathologist at Aspire Therapy and today I would love to read one of my favorite books with you, Goodnight Gorilla. And here I have my talker to help me teach a few concepts within the book. Um, so let's introduce some of our characters before we get started. Goodnight Gorilla takes place at a zoo. And I wonder, can you think of any animals you might see at the zoo? I think we might see a gorilla. What else can you think of? I'm going to go to my talker and introduce some of the characters we might see. So here, gorilla. we'll see a gorilla. I think we might see a elephant. Elephant. And maybe a giraffe. A giraffe. I wonder, have you seen those at the zoo? We'll also meet a few more. And we'll talk about concepts of in, in and out. Out. Okay, let's get started. Good Night Gorilla by Peggy Rathman. And here, oh, here's our gorilla. And here is the zookeeper. Good night, gorilla, said the zookeeper. And oh, who is this? It's the gorilla. And what is he taking from the zookeeper? The keys. Hmm. I wonder what he'll do. Oh no! The gorilla? He got out. Out! He's out of the cage. He used those keys. And he's following the zookeeper. Let's see what happens next. The zookeeper says, Good night, elephant. Hmm, that elephant is in. In. He's in the cage. I wonder what the gorilla will do. Hmm. Elephant is out. Out. And uh oh, naughty gorilla. He opens the door. Who will he let out? Out next. The lion. You're right. The lion is going to be out. I found him. The lion is out. Whose turn is next? The zookeeper says, Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe. <gasps> oh no, giraffe! Out. Out. Hyena. Out. out. The animals are out. That naughty gorilla. Let's see what happens next. Good night, armadillo. That gorilla has one key left. I wonder what he'll do. That's right. The armadillo is coming out. 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 All of the animals are out. out. They got out of the cage. And now... <gasps> Oh no, they're not in the zoo, they're out. out of the zoo. Giraffe out, hyena out, lion out, elephant out, gorilla out. I think they're going to the zookeeper's house. Oh no, in. they're in the house. Look at that giraffe. Have you had a giraffe in your house? I don't think it would fit. 
They're in the house. <gasps> Gorilla is in. in the bed. All of the animals are sleeping. <gasps> the zookeeper's wife says, good night, dear. And she turns off the light. All of the animals say, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. <gasps> the zookeeper's wife opens her eyes and I think she says, what was that? She's surprised. She turns on the light and what does she see? A gorilla in her bed. <gasps> oh no, I wonder what she'll do. The zookeeper's wife takes all of the animals back to the zoo. She puts them in, in back in the cages. But who gets out? Out. Who do you think is going to get out? That gorilla. He has the keys. And she says, Good night, Zoo. She's in bed. In. And who's crawling in? That gorilla goes in. She says, good night, dear. The zookeeper says, good night. They turn off the lights. The gorilla and the mouse are sleeping. And the mouse says, good night, gorilla. The end. Well, thank you for joining me for this story. I love this story because it's so silly and there's not a lot of words. So it really helps you to get creative and make up your own story. And you could do this with any of your books, even if there are words, and just talk about the picture. That's a great way to promote language learning and also help children learn how to tell a story. So I hope you had, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did, and we'll hopefully see each other soon. Take care.